okay uh, today we are going to see the folder structure and file extensions in uh, test profession now uh, suppose we have one uh, test that I have created uh, if you see here that uh, test name is D advertising QTP add so I have saved that D drive in advertising folder the name of the test is QTP dash add now when you save the test there is a separate folder that is created for every test when every for every test that we save there are a lot of folders and files that are automatically created now I will show you what kind of files are created when you save the test in QDB if you go to QTP interview questions dot blogspot dot in this is the blog that I write for uh, QTP articles you can refer this you can later on visit this uh, blog as well so there is one post I have uh, uh, given there this is regarding folder structure and file extension in QTP. Now, when we save any QTP uh, test in QTP, uh, below folders are created say action 0, then action 1, and action 2. If there are two actions in the test, so by default there are two actions action 0 and action 1. Now, the significance of action 0 is that it determines the sequence in which uh, other actions execute like for example we can decide the uh, we can choose whether to uh, execute action 2 first and then action 1 or we have to execute action 1 before action 2 like this now if you go uh, below they will find default.cf file this is a text file this contains web and network configuration information now I will open that file for you default.cfg okay I'll open it the edit plus it's not fair plus so you can see uh, this file here so this is generally of uh, no use for the automation tester point of view network related information is stored in this file now next file is that of uh, default.usp this is again text file this contains action iteration settings again you can view this file here see here run logic initialization root run logic action type then mercury initialization number of iterations all these settings are uh, in this file now next is default.xls now this is the test data table of the test every test has a data table in which there are multiple sheets there is one global sheet and there is one local sheet for every action so this is about default.xls you can see this file here this one now next file now log.lck this file is created if anywhere you are using that or you have opened that uh, test in QTV so this is automatically generated this is of no use as such then parameters.mtr this is a binary file which stores the input output parameters of the test so this is a binary file so you cannot view this using a text pad or a notepad same then book.usr this is a text file this test name file book.usr for example if I save this uh, test with the book name then book.usr is created so this is uh, specific to the test then test.tsp this is again a binary file which stores the test settings going ahead now as I said there are for each action there is separate folder is created in QT there is snapshot folder uh, this is used to store the uh, screenshots of the application whenever error occurs if you have enabled that now under each action there will be below files object repository dot bdp this is a local object repository I will show you that file now if I go, go under uh, action 1 so this one is object repository dot bdp so this is a local object repository of action 1 now next resource dot mtr this is this file contains the uh, resource information that the test is using for example shared object repository 
or which kind of share object repository this QTP test is using. Then script.mtbase, this is actually the actual uh, script code of the test. I will show you this file script.mts. So this one is the file script.mts. So this actually contains all the actual code that you have written in that test. Now next file is unlock tracklist dot that. So this is used uh, to just store the other information that is not relevant here from QTP automation tester perspective. Now other files and their extensions in QTP. There are different uh, other files that I'll uh, tell you. Not VBS. This is a VBS library file. Here you can store different functions inside of this file and then again attach this to the uh, any number of tests. Then .txt. This is again text library file. Here again you can store library file uh, functions. Okay. QFL is again quick test function library file. Now it is up to your choice which extension you want to use. If you use VBS, then you get extra advantages you can check the syntax by double clicking on the file or you can include that file using execute file statement with the txt and qfl extension you cannot do that next uh, important uh, file extension in qtp is qrs qrs is nothing but quick test recovery scenario file this is used to store the scenarios associated with the recovery scenarios associated with the test and finally and uh, very important dot tsr that is shared object repository file when you export the local objects you get uh, you create a dot tsr file and you can attach this tsr file to any test so that all the objects inside this tsr file can be used by that test where we have attached to that so this is all about what kind of uh, folders and uh, actions and extensions uh, the QTP uh, uses. Thank you.